Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do a really simple progress bar with a percentage sign attached to the number that's baked into the expression and just have the whole thing rigged up pretty pretty simply. Um, you could also use this tool to add a dollar sign in front of um, a slider controlled dollar. Um, you, could add, you could do a ton of stuff with what I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we are in After Effects and I already created the elements just for the sake of time. So I have the, the progress bar here at the bottom. I have the progress bar background. I have this little bubble that it consists of a triangle and a bubble. And then I just have a sim simply just a number. So um, I'm just gonna rename this um, progress bar background and the other one to progress bar. Um, it seems that I forgot to do that. I'm just gonna drag these below the, I call that the pointer and then I call that the bubble. So um, I guess first thing we could do is we could uh, um, parent the bubble to the pointer. That way when we move the pointer, the bubble moves. And I think we could actually also do the same um, with the text as long as it is, uh, as long as it's in the center there. So let's start out by getting the percent sign next to the number and also animate it. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do for this is create a new null object. Layer new, null object. And I'm just gonna make it invisible because I hate to see the little box. Um, it doesn't affect its, its performance or actions. It just makes it so I don't have to see it. So now what I could do is in the effects and presets over here, I could just search for slider, which I already did. And you could find slider control. I'm just gonna drag this onto the null object. So what this basically does is I can link the number to the null object so I have control over it. So uh, opening the text uh, farther, holding Alt and hitting the little stopwatch, we now get this expression tool, which you can grab this pick whip and um, with the null object selected, so I can see my slider control, there it goes. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna set a keyframe for this slider control. Um, on the null object and hitting you on the keyboard brings up the keyframe that way I don't need to have the null object selected when I want to do this kind of stuff. So um, Okay, so it's linked and I can animate it. So let's start at zero and At two seconds, we'll go to 100 We'll just use this as the baseline and you'll notice one thing is we get the decimal places and there's no percent sign So some people like to make a secondary text layer with the percent sign next to it, but it gets really confusing especially when you're at like 35, for example, and you need the percent sign here, but then at 100, you need it kind of more over to the right. So let's kill two birds with one stone. Um, the first thing that we'll do is we will make it so, um, so we don't get the decimal places. So in the beginning, I'm just gonna type math.round with the capital M, and that will kill the decimal places. And then uh, actually, you know, I'll show you a different a different method, a different tool. Um, you can actually type um, its value and then fixed and then a parentheses and you could type in parentheses one and that did not work. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I've missed fixed, two fixed. And that will give you one decimal place or you could set this to five and it'll give you five uh, but for this, I just want zero. So basically that did the exact same thing as a math dot round. But if you wanted a decimal places, you could use that. And then simply at the end here, you would type in plus, um, and then in quotations, just a percent sign, and that will add a percent sign. So here's a, here's a quick tip. If you added math dot round in the beginning, um, you need to make sure you do dot value here. Um, so, so I could even get rid of this and it will still work. Um, it just won't be rounded. But if I get rid of the value, dot value, it does not work. So that's just a tip. You need to turn it into a value. So there you go. We have our 100%. Our percentage sign is linked up to our slider control. We have the percentage sign there, so we don't need to move that layer. And now it's time to animate this bar. So I'm just going to take the, uh, this would be the prog, progress bar, or I'll grab the progress bar and put it on top of the progress, car, progress bar background. And selecting the progress bar, I'm just gonna press Y on the keyboard and drag it over to the end point. And I can close the text now, I don't need that. And just grabbing this pointer, which I had already parented the other objects to, I could just drag this 
to there. So now if I hit S on the keyboard on the progress bar, um, it allows me to change the scale. So I'm just gonna uncheck that uh, linking. That way I can move the X and Y independently. And then very simply, I'm just gonna press Alt on scale and drag it and attach it to the slider control. So one thing that you'll notice is that this will now change it in the X and Y. Um, so unchecking that did nothing. So you could skip that step. Um, I totally forgot about this. So what this does is, is it's saying the temp, the number basically is the slider control and make it for X and Y, but we obviously don't need it in the Y direction because the scale we liked at 100. So for this, I'm just going to put 100 and that fixes that. Um, sometimes you could separate dimensions, but why it's grayed out sometimes and why it's not other times is beyond me. Um, so anyways, okay, so now we have that scaling. Now the only thing we need to do is make this move with the bar. And if you could find an easier way to do this, let me know in the comments down below. But the way that I figured out is kind of confusing and it's kind of annoying, but it works. So um, if I press P on the keyboard, you can see that these dimensions are separated. Um, if they're not separated, it'll look like this. So all you do is right click it and go down to separate dimensions and now you have X and Y. So in the Y direction, we obviously are fine with that. But in the X direction, we need it to move. So I created this little formula. Basically, it's an interpolation formula, um, but you're gonna need two numbers for this. You're gonna need the position when the pointer is at the very edge. So that's the X position of 160, Five. So you're going to want to write that down. And then you're going to want to, oh, and that's called X1. So X1 for me is 165. For you, it might be different. Dragging this over to the other end, now you have a number, I have a number of 1,755. 1, and so that's X2, 1755. So now what you need to do is interpolate in between. So holding Alt on your keyboard, you could open up the expression tool for the X and drag it up to the slider control. So um, I'll show the formula on screen here, but basically we're just gonna be adding that in, into, um, into After Effects. So this is um, slider in the formula. And so what you need is you need X2 which for me is 1755 minus, and now we need 100. I'm gonna add a parenthesis, 100 minus the slider control, which is all of this. Close that parenthesis. Multiply this by the difference of X2 and X1. So for me, that's 1755 minus 165. And then I need to divide this by 100. So what I just basically did was said, this is the start, this is the end, divide the difference between that over 100. So you can see there that it is now fully attached. Here's a problem. Um, if this bar moves, or really, you're, you're really screwed if you need to move this around. Um, so what you need to do is control shift C, put them into their own composition, and now you can move it around freely, um, but they are in, a, in their pre-composition. So um, if you want to do anything else, you'd have to change the formula, get the new X and the new X2. So anyways, guys, uh, again, check out mobaxgraphics.com, like the video, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.